Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so don't overthink it, don't personalise it, don't compare. And you know what? <laughs> part of me is doing this for the clip and part of me is doing it to have a word with myself. Ultimately, I want to share that fact and for a healthier mind, for a quieter mind and just to bring you peace, don't overthink it. Don't personalise it and just don't compare, honestly. Save yourself all of that stress, save yourself all that anguish. And you know what? Ultimately, what you're doing is you're harming yourself more. You're negatively affecting your well-being and you're dragging yourself down to a place which, if you continue, it's quite and can often be rather difficult to get back. I always describe it as if you think too much and if you think too long and you're being so negative and so hard on yourself, it's almost like walking down a path and you've walked so far, okay, that you don't know how to get back to where you were. And if you think of it in essence of that, you've walked so far away from your happy self, you're thinking, you're thinking, you're taking this corner in your mind, you're going to that place, you're thinking, cool, why is that making me feel that? And why is this happening? And now I'm feeling a bit washed out and, oh, how do I get back to my happy bubbly self? It's dangerous. It's dangerous and it's difficult. And it's easy for me to say. And honestly, I know because this is me. This is me. I am very much of a warrior. Um, and I read something the other day, actually, which I love. And I'm really trying to concentrate on this. So be a warrior, as in warrior of war, almost. Um, not a warrior. Do you know what I mean? Trembling and worrying thoughts. So, and I, and I really do, um, try to hold on to that. So so how do I get through these things? So for example, something happened to me um, and has been happening for a little while and it's really been affecting my mental health, it's really been getting me down um, and that kind of general well-being, that ethic of feeling good about yourself um, just has really been suffering whilst this has been going on. Um, and unfortunately it's 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 very much around the analogy of you've been thinking so long about something that almost you get yourself into these habits of negativity. And if you do something, you second guess yourself or you think about something and then it gets worse and then you end up kind of obsessing about it. And unfortunately, if you keep going like it, you can make yourself really unwell. And then, do you know what, then I go to sleep and then I'm in and out of waking up at night and then I wake up in the morning and I think to myself, do you know what, why, why did you do that to yourself? And then I say to and because faith is, is, is my, is my guiding grace for all of this. It really, really is. Um, and the Lord above knows, and I'm very open and I talk about, uh, I talk about this a lot and, um, and I pray a lot and, um, and it gets me, and it gets me through. It really does. It gets me through. And with faith, it helps me walk into a situation, um, knowing that in the end, it is all going to be okay. It really, really is. Um, but it's hard. And you know what? It's really, really hard. And so for me, um, that's kind of my personal thing in the background there, what's been happening to me. So then the one thing often when I have a good day, like today, for example, it's don't ever think it. So think about it like this, for example. Um, the last couple of days ago, I've been really stressing at my um, at my workplace, um, in my job, which is a new promotion. Um, but because I needed something done and I got everything done early, which I needed to, and I was on the ball with everything, um, I was waiting for somebody else to um, input something so it could have this final um, completion. Um, but I couldn't get hold of them. They wouldn't come back to me about anything. And I was so stressed and thinking about this. And I was thinking about whatever people must think of me because it's not completed yet or this hasn't been achieved yet. And actually, <laughs> yesterday, it came back through to me and um, I read the email and it was the most incredible um, feedback on me, they'd completed it. And then they gave me this incredible feedback. So, which everybody seen. And I just thought to myself, wow. So this has gone from a real, real negative place in my mind that actually, what's somebody thinking about? Um, or why have they not done this? What must people think of me? When actually they were thinking so much that actually they took their time to give me this huge feedback. And I just thought, wow. And it almost woke me up to think that actually, you know what? Don't ever think it because you've wasted that time, all of that energy in your life. That time is now gone. 
somebody else was enjoying it. I could have missed all those great things going on throughout the time, which I've been stressing and worrying about that, or probably made my day pretty miserable because I've been worrying about this all the past couple of days. So number one, don't overthink it. Don't ever think it because what you're doing is you're being detrimental to yourself. Not just, I mean, take mental health, well-being away. You're missing the things which is happening. So for example, yesterday, if you've had a bad day, you've been overthinking things and you've been really tough on yourself, the other people in your life could have been having an amazing day with blessings going on, which you missed. Perhaps you were just so one-sided, you missed it all going on. You've missed that. Time is not coming back. But we are blessed and privileged in this life to be able to have another day forward. We get to enjoy that blessing again. So don't ever think it. Don't go missing it. Don't go missing out on those great things. Um, life is truly an adventure. And you know what? We keep going. That's the most important thing. We really must keep going. And when something knocks us down, we get we get back up again. And as the saying goes, isn't it? It's not how you fall down. It's how you get back up. So if you're ever thinking you're being really, really hard on yourself, don't be. And I know my friends, my subscribers, everybody who's viewing this, I know that's easier said than done. I'm right where I'm right there with you, quite literally. Um, so don't ever think it. And you know what, if you're in that in your if you're in that sort of space in your mind right now and you're thinking to yourself, oh, I just cannot get this out of my head. Okay, so take a moment, pause. And a good friend of mine said this to me. You're worrying about something, you're overthinking something. Okay. Can you change it in the next ten minutes? No. Okay. Why are you thinking about it? Why are you letting it ruin your mind? Pick it up Tuesday morning or Monday morning. I said Tuesday because it's a bank holiday here in this part of the world. Um, but if you're thinking about something, just park it. Absolutely don't let it wreck your mind. And you have to tell yourself that. And if you've actually got to go away into a room yourself and you've got to actually say, do you know what, Lord? Or perhaps you're not of faith, perhaps you're not of religion. Of course, that's absolutely fine as well. And perhaps... Perhaps you are, or perhaps look in the mirror and say, do you know what? You're worrying about this right now. In the next 10 minutes, half an hour, can you change it? Is there anything you can do to change it? No. Okay. Take a deep breath. You're a good person. You do good things. You've got a lot ahead of you. Great things. Successes to come. Wonderful things to come. You're worrying because you're conscientious, because you care. Leave it. Give yourself a break. You'll get through it. Next, don't personalize it. Don't personalize it. Um, yeah, I think my greatest thing here is when you're in the moment, okay, it's so easy, whether you're at work, whether you're in a personal situation, or whether you're anywhere. In fact, let's just say anywhere. And straight away, somebody speaks in a certain way to you. Or, for example, Somebody at work says something in a way which you find quite offensive. Um, let's say it again. Or you're walking down the street and somebody's perhaps a little bit sharp or someone's perhaps a bit rude. What I would always say in all those situations is don't personalize it. And the reason being, and you may think that's easy for you to say, no, it's not. Because I am, if anybody says something to me in a slightly different way or out of context, I think about it and think about it. Here goes. Don't personalize it. Nobody knows what that person is going through. And if it's work related, don't personalize it. It's the system. It's not you. We've dealt with that one. Tick the box. OK, personalize. OK, let's talk about social situations. Don't personalize it. Why? Nobody knows what somebody is going through. And in that short space of time in a moment where someone may be a little bit just overwhelmed by everything, they will sometimes, and it's happened to me, okay, they will sometimes speak to you, and as soon as they've spoken like it, they wish they could retract it and take it back. Never personalize it, and never give too much of yourself away. So straight away, do not make this whole sort of storm come alight in you that you are you take umbrage, or that you are absolutely hugely offended, or you're upset, or you're broken. Take that away with you, and deal with that then. Try not to personalize it, because straight away, okay, you're giving the situation gratification, and you are building this up in your head of overthinking, stress, and it's just going to be that vicious circle, okay? Because think about it, if you've personalized it, someone says something to you, or something's happened at work, or something, wherever, 
you've personalized it. Straight away you're thinking, how dare you? How and why did that person speak to me the way they did? Perhaps you reacted like that. Perhaps you got perhaps you got so overwhelmed by it, they picked up on it straight away. Perhaps it came to a bit of an altercation. Perhaps you had a bit of an argument. Don't personalize it. What I always try to do is always see the good in people. And I know it's not always easy. And I always think to myself, do you know what? Wow. You must really be feeling something to be speaking like that to me right now. You must be, number one, really, really stressed. Perhaps somebody in your life is is is, um, is something's going on in your life in the background. So I think in any situation, rather than personalizing it, okay, um, and something's causing you an issue or you're worrying about it, try almost to hypothetically step back from it. So for example, okay. Um, a family member, okay, and this happens often, okay, comes in, speaks like dirt to me, shouts, goes, whatever, <laughs> and you think to yourself, right, okay, I'm offended that you're speaking to me like this, it's not right, but however, I know that this is not personal, this is somebody venting you care about, so therefore, even though this is wrong, that they are speaking, and this person is acting towards you the way they are, okay, don't personalize it. Deal with it after the situation has passed. The storm, and that's in throughout everything we're talking about here, will pass. So no matter what you are going through in this life, that time will pass. So don't personalize it. That's what I would always say in that moment. Of course, some things, if you're in a, you're in a relationship, you know, husband, wife, or, or children, whatever, of course, it's going to be personal. I'm talking about more along the line of, for example, a one-off moment a friend really upsets you, or one of your mates really has a go at you, or for example, something quite doesn't go at work, don't personalize it. Or perhaps if you're walking down the street and something happens, don't personalize it. There will nine times out of 10 be a reason. Sadly, in this world, there won't always be a reason, but don't personalize it because ultimately you are you, there's only one of you, and you're damn right incredible. So don't let anybody take that away from you. Okay, next. Okay, now, I... <clears throat> how to approach this one. So we've covered, don't ever think it, don't personalize it. Okay. A tough one of how I would approach this one. Right. Now, I'm, I'm really, really kind of quite careful about how to put this off because most of, I would say, my career, I've been comparing myself um, to where we should be in our lives. And most of my 20s, I've done that to my to myself. And I still do it now that I'm going to be turning um, 30 in a couple of months time. Um, and by this point, and you know what, I've got really good at this in the last six months, really much, much better than this. But for most of my 20s, I was like, oh my goodness, I should be at this point in my life, or I should be at this time in my life. And what I'm cautious about here and why I am sort of trying to be a little bit more careful is because there is an element of um, that motivation, that worry, which keeps us on track in life and pushes us and determines us in life. Okay. But however, when you are comparing yourself, everybody is at a different stage in their life. And whether you get two people who are 20 years of age, okay, that is the same. They are at different points in their life, okay? Even though they're the same age, they are on two different paths in their life. Do not compare it yourself, okay? Because number one, somebody may be going through some health things in the background, okay? That's going to be a very different path. Uh, let's see the other person. They may have problems or bereavement or something like that going on in their life. Their path is going to be different. Or let's say, for example, somebody else, someone's had a huge trauma in their life. Or somebody else, somebody may have financial issues. All of these people we are talking about, it does not mean to say they will be they won't be successful. They will be successful. Okay. But success is different to every single one of us. Okay. Now for me, success will be in um, a good job, which I've worked for in my finance and accountancy career. Um, the title of accountant for me, it will be um, having a beautiful wife and beautiful children and a nice house. Okay, so that's the dream for me. For somebody else, it may be top of their field, top of their career. Okay, and that might be it for them. 
For somebody else, it may be a certain amount of money in the bank. Okay. Or for somebody else, it may be their nine to five job and a little beautiful baby. Okay. And a partner. That is success for so many different people. And it's measured on so many different things. And everybody's journey is going to be different. Now, there is not there, there is not a wrong here in any of that, okay? And it's took me a lot to realise that. So throughout my health problems and things throughout my 20s, um, I really struggled with the fact that um, I was having to take long periods of time out for recovery and operations and one thing or another, and I was getting nowhere, and I'm still managing these problems six years, nearly six years on now. Um, and it really, really affected me badly to the point where actually I'm this sort of age. I'm not where I want to be. I've got other people who I know of exactly this age and they're at this point in their life. Yeah, okay. In some instances, I was doing better than these people. In some instances, I wasn't even there yet experiencing these things. Um, so from my heart to yours, and being really careful here of what I say and how I say this, don't compare. And I made myself some notes here and under don't compare, I put be careful. Because what I don't want to, to be sat here saying is, don't compare yourself to anybody because that can sometimes come across as being chauvinistic, as being um, quite um, cocky, stuck up. And that's not what I'm trying to get out here at all. Meaning don't compare yourself. So don't be hard on yourself. If you're not there on that right path of life just yet, don't be hard on yourself. Don't compare. That's what I'm saying. I'm not sat here saying, don't compare because, oh, you're the best and don't compare because of this, that and the other at all. That's not what I'm trying to get out here at all. So just to recap, don't ever think, don't personalise, don't compare. And on that note, just give yourself a break. So much of life we do up here, so much of why life is so hard is because we do it here. If we had spent less time thinking about it and more time doing it, do you know what? If we made the mistakes, if we weren't afraid to make the mistakes, if we didn't think and occupy our minds so much about what happens if this happens, what happens if that happens, just do it. And yes, there'll be mistakes. And yes, we fall down, but we get back up. And that is what is so amazing in this life. We are blessed with a full life if we want it. I always say to my brothers and my my, my uh, niece and my nephew and everybody in my life that actually, do you know what? We have one life. It's like a book. It is a book. My nan always said I could write a book. And you know what? Write your book how you wish to read it. Okay. So if you want an action packed book, which just goes on and on and on, you never want to put it down. Do that. Absolutely do that. Okay. I really do. I really hope that this has helped. Um, it's a bit of a session for me to be able to talk and get these things off my chest as well, because I'm talking to you about it and trying to help you with it. But it's also helping me because I am such a terrible person about keeping everything and overthinking up here. Um, I really, really am. But I'm getting that. I'm getting better. And I really hope that these things help you as well. So just final note, don't overthink it. Sometimes, even if you're that bad and overthinking so much, Write it down, grab a pen and paper, write yourself a list. And when you achieve it, okay, and when you stop thinking about it, take it off. So there's a really great point on that one. Don't over-personalise it. Okay, so of course, always be personal and always be your amazing self in situations. But when something goes wrong, don't personalise it. It isn't always your fault. Most of the time, it's not. Let's be honest. Okay, and lastly, don't compare. I'm not saying that you're sort of the stuck up sort of cocky person or anything like that. Don't compare yourself to others. I'm saying don't compare your path of life to somebody else's. Okay. Cause it's going to be very different and it's going to mean a lot different. Success will be a lot different for them as it is to you as well. Okay. So on that note, thank you very much for being here and thank you for sharing this with me. And I really do hope that even just something of what we've talked about here has really helped you. So God bless. Take great care. Be kind, and be positive to yourself. There is only one of you. How amazing is that? Okay, so God bless, take great care, and I will be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.